Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy, Danger, coming at you with our Madden 21 video. Hopefully, you guys are having an awesome day. If you are, hit a like button, man. Hit that sub button. If you are new, please hit that sub button, guys. We're trying to hit 1.9K subs before the end of September. So help me out and do that. Now, today, I wanted to make a video going over... Well, first, let me say, I've been making a ton of videos on how to make coins and all that fun stuff, mostly sniping, really not coin-making methods. I guess you could say the get a, play, get a player was kind of a coin-making method. Now, those are both really good ways to make coins. As you see, I have a ton of coins. I did spend some money at the beginning of the year, but, you know, majority of it came from, you know, grinding um, those methods. But I wanted to make a video talking about methods for people who have no money spent, so... Obviously, the snipe, you're going to need a little bankroll, you know, to get started, even to do the get a player. You know, it's not really worth doing unless you have a, quite a bit of coins. Not a lot, but I mean, like at least 200K. But I wanted to make a video going over for people who are no money spent and the best way to get coins and get trophies that aren't sniping and like coin making methods. Because sometimes, let's be honest, some of these coin making methods that people come out with, they're good. You can make coins, but, you know, they take forever like forever and you're not really making too many coins but i mean you'll make some but um i don't know i really like to stick to sniping and get a player coin method so i that's pretty much it i know there's a lot of people who do a lot of sets and stuff um you know that's good i, I mean i could try them out but i just want to talk about for people who just got the game starting out and want to make coins um let's just go over a few of the easy methods they're not easy but they are easy First one is Mutt Drafts. All right, so say you're no money spent. Your team is not the best right now. And for some reason, EA is going to set you up with the people that have God Squads. I just don't know why. Like, I'm an 81 overall because I'm running a Vikings team team. I get put up with people who are at least 89 overall. At least 89 overall. So the number one tip I could tell you guys is play Mutt Drafts because then it, like, evens the playing field. But you're still getting coins and you're getting series trophies. Now, that'll help you build up your teams. Now... I, if you've seen any of my streams, I am not the best Madden player whatsoever, but I am currently two wins away from winning my Mutt Draft. Now, you know, I have to win two more games, and if you go, let me go back, see the rewards. Now, it costs 15k to start, which, I mean, you play a couple solo challenges, you get your 15k. Now, the nice thing is, say you lose, worst case, you lose your first game, right? It's whatever. Well, you get 9K back. So right now you're down 6K, right? You get two Hail Mary packs, you know, say you get the silvers, whatever. You could actually pull, I pulled, sometimes I pull some golds in there to sell them. You're basically going to get most of your coins back. But I mean, it's pretty easy to win one game. I'm going to be honest with you guys. You win one game, you're getting 13K back and then you get two Hail Mary packs. And I guarantee you can make 2,000 off those two packs. So Basically, you do that and you're chilling. If you get to two wins, that's when things start getting interesting because you get a midfield pack, a Hail Mary pack, and then 10 trophies. Now, it's super simple. The best method that I can tell you guys, put two clock on, run the ball. Literally, when I draft my team, I focus all my drafts on linemen. You build a line and get a good like two, two, three running backs. Now, what I mean by building a line, obviously you can't just pick all linemen. Because some rounds won't have linemen. But say like you have an 86 PT, uh, 86 right guard or something like that. I always take the lineman. Even if it's like lower. Say I have like an 85 mm, stuff on digs. And then I have an 82 center. If I don't have a center, I'm still taking the center. Just build your old line. Get yourself at least three running backs. At least three running backs. Because that... At least two. Honestly, two. Maybe three is pushing it, but... Two for sure, for sure two. Uh, and then you just sub them out. Just keep subbing them in and out so they don't fumble. Put the ball thing on conservative. Literally run the ball. Do your passes if you have to. If it's like third and long and he's just stuffing your run, you're going to have to do your passes. Um, but this one's 15K to enter. You know, if I go six, six and oh, I get 40K, 60 trophies, two Hail Mary, three midfield, and one red zone. So if you go six and all, like you're a pretty decent Madden player, you can probably get that pretty simple. That now that's the premium. That's 15k to enter. If you want to go a little lower and you only have 9k, you can enter this one. Pretty much the same thing. Um, if people ask, like, is the competition different? Um, I don't really know if I'm being quite honest with you because I haven't played the standard yet. But let me know down below if you think the competition's a little different. Like, if the premium there's higher competition than there is in the lower. 
But I mean, even if you only got 9K, this one's still good. You get your six wins, 30, and then you get 30 trophies. So that is one way to do it. Now, I really love doing this. I'm currently seven and four, you know, not the best record. Like I said, hopefully I can get these two more wins. But I mean, if you lose, you're not losing too many coins. Um, but just try to win at least one. If you win one game, you know you're making some your coins back. Um, two, profit. Three, profit. So that's the number one tip I would give you guys, especially if your team is not good and you know, you're just playing against a lot of sweats. It's just going to happen at this time of the year. It's just bound to happen. Now, the next one is solo battles, which I believe they came out today. I don't know what just happened. I got 25 coins. Okay, I believe solo. So, yeah, solo battles are honestly the best way to level up. Now, or not level up. I mean, like, get your coins up, get your trophies up, build your team. It's actually no money spent, like I said. Now, every week, you know, they have the top 100, which... Let's be honest. It's going to be hard to get in there. I think I got there once last year. Once. At the end of the year, it's kind of easier because a lot of people just kind of give up on these. But say you come in. If you get ranked number one somehow, 280,000 coins, 220 trophies, two red zone, 44, and 88 plus. So if you get ranked in the top 100, just know you're making a ton of coins. A ton of coins. But majority of people, you're going to shoot for a legend. Now, legend, you get 45,000 coins. Or, well basically 45,000 4400 44,500 coins so basically 45,000 coins six trophies or 60 trophies two hail mary packs two midfield packs two red zone packs now even if worst case scenario you get just aim for these two i, I mean obviously try to get legend but even if you get mvp it's not terrible you're getting trophies and you're getting packs and all you literally have to do is play solo challenges it's basically playing a full game online. Now, I don't want to click and accidentally start one because then I'll have to play it. Um, but say you click it, hopefully it doesn't do that. So there's your score at the bottom. Uh, if you play Legend, you get 21 things. So as long as you win all your games on Legend, you're going to get 21,000 um, battle score. Now, battle score helps you in a lot of ways because, one, there's usually like weekly challenges that recommend you get or... You have to get like 35,000 you get some coins too so i just recommend playing these if you're not the best player you know you're still kind of new uh just play mvp or all-star i mean either way you're gonna get free coins you're gonna practice and then one eventually you could play legends now there's a lot of strategies you can actually probably youtube it i'm not gonna make a video because i am not the best at it, but i actually watched some videos there's like always tricks and tips on how to score super high in this so it's really simple just look up a video um i think chu his name chewbacca the guy who always snipes, that's my favorite. Uh, he always makes a video on how to get the highest score. So I would go check out his video. But either way, even you don't even have to do that. You can just play the game, get them. And this is the featured one. So this one gives you like the higher overall score. Like it gives you a boost in that sense. So make sure you don't lose this one. Just make sure you don't lose any. If you, Worst case you lose, you know, you're still going to get whatever. But definitely shoot for this. If you get in the top 100, let me know. I need to I need help. I need to start getting up there. But definitely shoot for legends. You know, two red zone pats. I believe you get 25k quick sell, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if they're gonna do that this year, but that's 50k right there. So like that's already a hundred K you're getting. So definitely do that. And those are pretty much my only tips. Another thing I would tell you guys to do is make sure you're checking your let it load your missions. Now, the best missions that I always do are mutt dedication, in my opinion. Uh, weekly missions, you know, it'll tell you what to do, win 10 games, win 20, three daily missions. Do all these, and then you earn, so complete five weekly activities, earn a gridiron pack. Now, the gridiron packs can be pretty good. You can get, a, usually you get an elite. I think every gridiron pack I opened this year, I got an elite. Maybe, not the bundle, but like everyone I earned. So definitely check these out. Weekly missions, you know, here's what I'm talking about. Earn 35,000 battle score, which is from the solo battles. Uh, so they're really simple, you know, just... Basically, do all of those. Make sure you do your daily engagement, which is pretty much... Where is it? Uh, well, basically, you win two games and open a pack. Just open the 500 coin pack. And you get, like, I think the minimum is 2,000 coins, probably, something like that. And then, you know, if you keep playing, you get these. These are how you get your trophies. Now, trophies you want to save. I mean, in my opinion, I save them. And I always try to open... I'll show you what pack I usually save them for. 
Um, I always save mine and try to open what's that? Not that one. Get yourself John Madden if you're not running a theme team. Just saying. Um, I usually save mine to open up a few of these, which, you know, sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not. You can always save up for this. Get 50k, which, you know, I mean, 50k just for playing the game. But I usually try to save up for this, try to make a video opening up a couple of them. That's what my goal is. Uh, I would not recommend. Dude, I used to open up so many of these last year. You never get anything. Never. So those are like the ones that I would save up for. But anyways, guys, hopefully this video helped you. If it did, hit that like button. And if you're new, please hit that sub. But I am out, boys. Peace.